As many of you will know, I wasn't totally sold on the idea of marriage. But quite frankly, Emma's systematically broken me down and pretty much blackmailed me into doing this. All joking aside, that is not true. First part is, but not the bit about breaking me down or blackmailing me. I first started warming to the idea of marriage during COVID and all the many lockdowns. The more time we spent together, the more we realised that I couldn't imagine life without you, Em. However, never the one to make rash decisions and rush into things, I decided to dwell on it and assess my options. A year later, and I'd finally got round to buying the engagement ring. And after a failed attempt to propose whilst we were on holiday, because I couldn't get Paul's blessing, as he doesn't answer the phone to dodgy numbers, I finally got round to puffing the question in the Lake District on the 11th of March, 2022. The day started well. I took him breakfast in bed and we headed over to the lakes for a long weekend. The forecast, forecast wasn't looking great that day. Um, and when we set off to Hotel Bellin, it was raining pretty heavily. Halfway up, the wind was picking up. And we walked past a couple walking back down who pleasantly informed us that it was a death trap higher up. And we should turn back if we valued our lives. I thought, sod that. Don't tell me what to do. We'll push on. Up on the ridge 15 minutes later, we were walking 45 degrees into gale force wind and rain and ne uh, nearly being blown off the mountain. And my hopes were proposing the top of a perfect picturesque, picturesque summit well and truly out the window. At this point we turned around and I hoped to find a decent spot on the way back down. Half an hour later, we were out of the wind and the rain had finally stopped. I spotted a place underneath Coombe Crags and I used the temptation of birthday cake to stop and make my move. At this point, we were on wet and rocky ground. Em sat down on a boulder, whilst I got down on one knee and pulled the ring out of my coat pocket. The only problem was that it was so steep and the ground was so uneven, I ended up being on both knees, looking up at Em like I was practically begging for her to marry me which I'm sure she will never, ever let me live down. To my delight, she said yes. And a year and a half later, we're here, and married and enjoying this amazing day with all of our favorite people. Em and I have been together for over 11 years now. During that time, we've quite literally grown up together. And we are different people, and although we are different people, from the 20 year old lad and 18 year old girl that met in the O2 Academy, in Leeds, my love for you Emma, has only grown stronger. Without you, I wouldn't be the man I am today. I love the life that we have created together, and I hope I can be as good of a husband to you as I know you will be a wife to me. I could spend an eternity in your company and never get bored or wish for anything more. You are my, you are my best friend, and I can honestly say that I love you more and more every day. You bring the best side out of me, and I feel truly content knowing that I will spend the rest of my life.